What is up, Mentees? This is the Uncanny Omar here from Near Mint Condition. What's up, Philip Evans? What's going on, Lloyd? I'm going to let a couple people trickle in here, uh, and then we can get this started. So tonight, join me with a drink. This episode is not brought to you by Cougar Bait, by the way. They did not sponsor this episode. This is just me drinking. Can everybody hear me, first of all? Let me know if you cannot hear me, because I just set up the mic. Normally, I'm wearing a headset, but tonight, ain't nobody home. So I figured, plug in the nice mic. So 2019 brought us a lot of good... Like it was, it's a good time to be a comic book fan, just for com like movies and TV shows. Now, oh, okay, cool, you can hear me, so awesome. So now, before we get on it, uh, this is Reels Talk was a segment that I've taken a break from for about half a year now because six months ago, uh, the amazing Amanda decided to leave the show, and I felt like this was our thing because her and I would do this. And I couldn't do it without her. And it felt just wrong doing it without her. So I just, I, I was like, you know what? Um, I'm going to put it out. Th uh, I'm going to give it a rest and then um, take a break for a while and until I find a, a good co-host. So I I am going to be joined by a co-host here in a second that I'm going to introduce. But there is no replacing the amazing Amanda like that. This was her thing. This was her baby. So there is no replacing her. But I think this new co-host kind of uh, shares a lot of her vision and a lot of the way that she used to talk. So this is as close as it gets to her. So come on in. Hi, everyone. <laughs> that was a pretty good setup. Hi, guys. Merry Christmas. <laughs> And it is the Uncanny Omar and the amazing Amanda. Hi, guys. She, she's back for the here. Scoot in a little bit. Hi, Philip. I'm going to talk about uh, Paul Rudd today. Don't worry about that. So. And the ratings just went down and nobody's watching this show. And everyone stopped watching today. So thank you for joining us. If this is your first time joining us, Amanda has taken a break from the channel for about half a year now. Yes, I did. Right? Yeah. So she was a big part of the channel. Uh, ah, hey, Smart Log. Good to see you or talk uh, to you. Is that you miss me, Philip? Dude, I was just live like a couple <laughs> days ago, man. Uh, Larry, Lloyd, I guess they, they remember <laughs> you. Nobody gets this excited when I get on. Sorry. Nobody gets this excited when I get um, on. Yeah, so I'm so happy to be here. Uh, thought this might be a really nice Christmas present for all of the fans. Um, I did uh, leave the show uh, about six months ago. Um, yeah. I had to take a break because um, spending more time with the family. My husband got deployed in October. So I have been a single mom now for the last three months um, and working full time. As you can imagine, that takes a lot of time off of one's plate to do fun things like this. And um, yeah, so I was really excited, though. Me and Omar talked about it and I said, you know what? Let's do this. Let's do a show yeah. for Christmas for all the people I miss. She even came with her <laughs> Christmas sweatshirt here. With the Spider Man! Which you guys even get to hear what my thoughts about Far From Home. Because we, I, we were I, on a break. I know. We, were, we stopped filming. I stopped filming before that came out. I'm so sorry because I know you all know how much I love Tom Holland. If you guys didn't know, I also got to meet Tom Holland in October. Oh, she did. Yeah. Yes. How, were, how did you? Dude, it was like, amazing. How did you not pass out? I just talked to him the whole time, and he probably looked at me like, "Who the hell is this it's blonde just... American woman talking to me? Who's like ten years non, old?" Non I stop, non-stop about things. <laughs> I know about my movies. Please stop telling me about my movies. So, um, yeah, so we are really excited to hit today to talk about our favorite comic book movies and TV shows from 2019. So, um, yes, why don't we start off with talking about the movies? Because Omar and I actually got a lot to review a lot of the movies. Um, yep. By May, at least. <laughs> June. June. I can't remember when you left. Um, it was a dark time for uh, for, my, for me. So, uh, But I'm back. So we're getting a Superman comic review. No! <laughs> no. Not Superman. <laughs> we're talking about movies. Jesse, say what? So uh, everybody take a swig and enjoy the show. Yeah, I'm also into ciders now, guys. So <laughs> there we go. That's not even beer. I think it's that's non-alcoholic cider. No, no. This drink. thing has like a 4.6% alcohol. 5% alcohol. Oh, no, What's yours at? Don't judge me. Please put that down. <laughs> okay. Sorry. 
sorry. Anyways, we haven't seen the new Star Wars movie. So no, no, we'll, it's we'll tomorrow. tomorrow. We see it at one thirty tomorrow. Yeah, we're so very excited. No spoilers. I'm, I'm very excited. So I've, I've, I've stayed away from the internet. I've stayed away from everything. So I don't, I don't know. So okay, Nicholas Lee loves ciders. Hey, there you go, Nicholas. That's right. Ciders are the best. <laughs> so right. are the Cider Boys, Grand Mimosas. Best thing ever, but they're Not seasonal. sponsoring so. the show. Either. <laughs> Not sponsoring the show. <laughs> okay, so why don't we... All right, so let's start talking about... So the first movie that I think we want to talk about is one that Omar and I reviewed back in February that got a, that we both had positive reviews of. Now, mm -hmm. I had never read the source material, but Omar had, and that is... Um, Alita Battle Angel. Yes, you remember this guy? I know you yeah. remember this guy, Scrambled King. I do remember. <laughs> hey, you remember that line? <laughs> um, yes, Battle Angel Alita was the superb adaptation of the manga. It's, yes, it 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 made me wish that more movies were just like that. Like, yeah. oh, taking it from the source material and then adding a couple of new elements. It was great. We saw the Joker. Yeah, we saw yeah, the Joker. Yeah, we're going to talk about it. Yeah, yeah. we did see yeah. the Joker. So we're going to go through we, just the movies we enjoyed. And then some of them, and then we, our, our, his brother, my cousin, was not happy with us because we talked to the yeah, Joker. We don't, nobody likes sitting with us. <laughs> Four no, like two people that nobody likes sitting <laughs> no. beside the movie theater. Um, Except no. Maddie. Maddie can put up with Maddie us. Maddie can put up with us. She enjoys our commentary. No one else does. Um, but no, I think Alita Battle Angel was one of the highlights as far as comic book movies concerned this year. Because Absolutely. you're right. It was a great adaptation. I yep. think um, a lot of the acting was superb in it. The CGI was great in it. Um, and it left it open for a sequel. Now, obviously, it is a 21st it's 20th century fox production so disney? it is now owned by disney so it's... so we will see what disney does with it they do have avatar and they are working with james cameron on that so james there's cameron a good possibility could, that do in game well we'll see <laughs> i know you'd like to hear that. oh yeah i also got an avengers tattoo guys while i was on a break so it's on a part of her body that she can actually show i could off. maybe in the end if once i get drunk enough i'll show you all my tattoo she only needs like two more sips of energy that's true that's true on. so anyways a lot of I'm late. Up what are guys. they talking about who knows it's hard to keep what we're up, talking but... about we're talking we just talked about elite battle angel we're talking about our favorite uh 2019 movies and tv shows based on comic books or graphic that's novels. why she's here yeah, that's why i'm here that's why she's here okay <laughs> so next um okay the next one we're gonna talk about i'm i'm going in chronological order <laughs> <laughs> this is your baby. I'm and um, we're going to talk about a movie that I got a lot of hate on the internet for when I reviewed it, and that is Captain Marvel. The controversial The Captain controversial, Marvel, yeah. yes. Which I think they portrayed her better in Endgame, but that's fine. Um, but I still, Which was filmed before Captain Which was Marvel. filmed before, yeah. But it was a different director, right? And they didn't really, I don't know if they knew exactly what the original director's you know, I don't think they did her, either. But yeah. I do like the Russo brothers version of her. She's a little bit snarkier, but um, it obviously made a lot of money, over a billion dollars. I can't even remember what I rated it. All I remember was I didn't uh, like me it. Me and Maddie gave it an eight out of ten, and, and that's when like, everyone's like, "You women." <laughs> I think I gave it like a six and a half or something. I didn't even like it. I was thinking up for the movie because people were so. You mad. did give it like a I six, like, I think. It wasn't even that good of a movie. That yeah, I was it's up for and, it. and small. Like you're right, it was not great. But yeah, Hayden, James Cameron also Dark Fate was a great movie, and yeah, it was. I like Dark Fate. I think I may be alone. I really liked it. I think you were like, eh, it's over. It was. They long. should just kill that franchise. Real. And that's why. Okay, already off topic. But you're right. Um. Anyway, but as far as Captain Marvel is concerned, it you know. Yeah. It did it, it did the job that needed to do by no, introducing her. And I and for Ben Mendelssohn did a great job as Talos. So if if anything, we are getting the scrolls now in the MCU. And I think regardless of how you feel about what they portrayed as far as women in the MCU, regardless, I think it was wonderful that they were able to introduce new concepts that we are obviously going to see in phase four. So Yeah. I'd like to see a different director take the lead on oh, a Captain I would Marvel agree with that. too. Yes, Just more to maybe a more doing. yeah. It could it be a, so stylistic, but anyway, it was a group of it was a it was a couple it, or it was a team I think of directors. Captain Marvel to me is just in the middle. It was there. Yes, it, it was, was in the middle. middle. You like you gave it an eight. That's yeah, no, but no. Well, I know, but that's before Endgame and Spider Man Four came out. All right, so let's move on to uh, what Shazam. Came out after that, Shazam. And that's Shazam, Captain Marvel, the real yes, Captain, the real Marvel. Captain Marvel, which was actually a delightful film. I we really did review it. that, and I did think we? we did review that, yes. On the channel? Yes, we did. Oh. Huh. We loved it. I did. I really liked I it. I mean, from not only the chemistry of the cast, not only the kids, but then you get the adults. 
um, spoilers if anyone hasn't seen it, but you kind of understand the idea of the wizard Shazam and the Captain Marvel um, uh, story. But the only, you know, minus the very generic villain and his very generic henchmen, the Deadly Sins. I mean, those 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 characters could have been taken from any kind of. It was very, you know, the way they were portrayed and drawn the seven deadly sins very generic monster s type of things i think it was a, that's not what mattered in the movie it was, I think it was about a nice the break from your superhero movies that were just uh you know it, like i i think it was a good mix of comedy and like, it was like it was big first, right like yeah big it was big with movie. i really liked it yeah i enjoyed it and i think um i hope that we will see a sequel to it Oh, I'm sure. So even the little cameo at the end by Henry Cavill, yeah, with the mustache, that was really cool. Was that that movie? <laughs> no, was that, that, that movie. movie. <laughs> All right, what was after that? Mm. Uh, that one, the big one, the big one. Yes. Of course, we're talking about joke. No, no, not Avengers joke. Not Endgame. Yet. Avengers Endgame, probably the biggest movie this year. The biggest, movie, uh, the ever? biggest movie ever. It's surpassed all movies as far as all time gross. So really, it did. Yeah, that movie. Uh huh. Right. Yeah. Did we re did we review that? We one? did review that. Yeah. <laughs> remember? Oh. You don't remember the review process? Oh, I yet. remember. You cried. Did you cry? I cried a lot oh, of yeah, that movie. I still cry every time he. Every time I hear Cap on your left, yeah, I cry. Oh, I can't help okay. it. It's, I it. Yeah. I stood up and gave it a standing ovation because I I remember that scene. I, all I wanted to hear was Avengers Assemble. And that moment, oh my god, it was, it, it was like the ten year old. Yeah. Now was it a perfect movie? Um, yeah, it lulled in the middle of it, right? I mean, because there's a lot to... But that's the thing about what they've done so well with the MCU is they were able to um, keep your... Even though there were some lulls in the plot and everything like that, and the, at the end of the day, because of how well drawn out this story is, or the whole universe, mm -hmm. you just never feel like you're completely, I don't know, bored out of the entire movie. It just... No. Really, yeah. I, I I like um Infinity War more, but that was just me. I like the uh, this one was good. It was a good movie. I yeah, I, I well, and and one. they did a lot of fan service, but not in a way that was super over the top or cheeky. Like if you pay attention to a lot of stuff, like for instance, in the final battle when Hawkeye has the glove and then he um is stopped by Black Panther and he calls him Clint and he tells him to give him the glove. If everyone remembers in Civil War. When he said, "Hey, we haven't met yet. My name's Clint." And he's like, "I don't care." So it's like one those little like Easter eggy things. Oh they, yeah, there were like, a lot. That's of those. what I think, and it wasn't over the top, but it was enough that if you are a real truth, like a big fan of the franchise, you kind of cheer a little bit inside. Yeah, yeah. It, it was it was a good send off to a lot of yes. those uh, actors and actresses. Maybe yes, even though exactly. we're getting a Black Widow movie, but whatever. But no, yeah, Infinity War was better because it was more, I guess. It was. It was dark. It was dark. Like, leaving that empty, like that, that theater, leaving of, emptiness, right? Yes. Like, what are they gonna do? I know they're gonna win, but how? Yeah, because right? even though people died in this one, there's that. Well, what's next? Feeling like, oh, yeah. okay, we still at the end. It is weird yes. not thinking about the phase four and getting excited, right? Like, what's what's because we knew Avengers Endgame was gonna be the one movie we were yep. excited about. And it's like, what's next? We've talked about us? that, not on this show, but we have talked about that together about, you know, yeah. how you haven't been like, where's my excitement for what's, what am I excited about? For me, right. it's the TV shows coming out on Disney right. plus. Um, and maybe Eternals because I mean, has anyone else seen Camille Nanjiani's transformation? <laughs> now that looks so odd on that guy. <laughs> it does. It does not work. I, but, I've, I've know, watched it in him. Silicon Valley, so it's hard. <laughs> All right, so what's next okay. before we talk about more transformations? Um, I was going to share from my tattoo. Yeah, go ahead. Hold on, can I show my tattoo? You guys want to see my Avengers tattoo I got at Don't forget Super Chat. Ace Comics. <laughs> you want to see Oh, wait, tattoo? yeah, Super Chat. Super Chat made a 50 it. cents. So yeah. show... That's trailer trash money right there. Yes, exactly. It's not a tramp stamp, just the no, spoilers. It it's uh, So here you go. Do you guys see it? Can you see my tattoo? Yeah. No, nope. the King okay. the <laughs> There it is. That's my tattoo. Does anyone know what that is? Shout it out if you do. Uh, they can't hear you. <laughs> no, they can't. <laughs> or you can't hear them. <laughs> Show the ink. <laughs> Show the ink. There you go. Amanda yes. got... What is... What I, just, is I think Omar's going to pass out from my sticky foot, but oh mm -hmm. well. I'm good. Um, it is, uh, for those who saw it or didn't see it, um, 
that is the symbol or the tattoo that the original six minus Mark Ruffalo because he's too chicken shit. Um, is he's it? Got, yeah, that's what is that they the said. the story behind it? I guess that's what the story is. I just yeah. thought he was like, nah. Against ink? No, yeah. he's, he didn't want to get it. Yes, that's the same Look, one. Hayden got, got it. Yeah, Look there you go, Hayden. Yes, Look that's Hayden. what I got. Hayden knows. Yeah, I was, uh, I barely ate. I was a little tipsy off of the end game drink at the Ace Comic Con in uh, Chicago. Next thing I knew, I had Phillip, my first tattoo. Philip knew. I remember when you sent me the picture. I was like, I know what that is. Yeah. So, and I, I mean, if anything I was going to get, that would be, that was something I've always wanted to get. Yeah. Always? Yeah. Ever since you were a little girl? <laughs> Liar. <laughs> Never want to get. <laughs> that and the death Mom, of Hollow I want to grow up to get a tramp stamp. It's not a tramp stamp. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. What's, what's next? Um, Spider-Man. Yes. Far from home. Since that is that the we. You're right. Like, that that, we last. <laughs> we last. Uh, we we didn't see that together. We were going oh, to. Mad at me. I was not mad at you for not doing that on the air. It did just happen. <laughs> it did just <laughs> it happen. Did just happen. That came out it was right fresh. after. We, we still it was knew. So fresh. I was I like, see his brothers, I, and it was the worst because they were not as excited to talk about it like he would have been. Because <laughs> that's what that was our thing. Yeah. Um, so. <laughs> Yes, Night Monkey. Oh, and I have Yes, El Denver. And after the movie, she also has a tattoo of El Monkey no, or El Night Monkey. Monkey right there on her no, shoulder. No, but my um, one of our friends got me this metallic print um, that someone made of Night Monkey, and it has like his like the eyes. Like, and there, there's more of the people that recognize you. It's a man, and she got Spider Man trans stamp. <laughs> no, not a Spider Man. A Tom Holland. His face. <laughs> yeah, I got Spider Man trans stamp right here, buddy. <laughs> So uh, yeah, that's gonna be awkward when you're 50 years old explaining to your grand well no not grandkids. At uh, 50? <laughs> my kid is four. You're like in I'm Kentucky 34. now. <laughs> Who knows? I'm just gonna say far from home should have opened phase four with Black I believe, Widow. Yeah, that's being not a bad idea. Phase three. It, it was a weird way to close off phase three. It was and it was weird because it was during that time too that they were like, Nope, Sony is off the books. No, no, it was no after that. That I'm was glad you're here to no, that was straight. September. No, so let's really? okay. Hold on before Omar gets ahead of himself. I'm waiting. Uh, let's <laughs> no. So Spider Man Far From Home. I mean, you guys saw we did trailer reactions. Me and Omar did. Um, you know how excited we I was. We did review the movie. We, we did review the movie. We did trailer. Two reactions. trailer reactions. I was so excited. What you guys know how much I love Tom Holland. Um, it's no secret. Um, and seeing Mysterio on screen, they could have messed it up in so many ways. I think. They did a good job with Mysterio. I liked how they explained it within this MCU. Yeah, I enjoyed that. That was and we were the powers, to my believe favorite. That yeah, it, it was, was a different good universe. Yeah, yes, universe. And I was I was excited because I was like, oh, my multiverse. Yes, which we still will get a multiverse, guys. Yeah, Doctor Strange. Crisis on Infinite. Or, oh, sorry. Okay, <laughs> but that too. But uh, <laughs> we're talking about the MCU. Oh, my bad. And so yeah, it was very exciting. Um, at first, you thought we we're going to get that multiverse. We didn't. It was a bait and switch. But that's fine because that makes sense because that's what Mysterio's character is, right? Even in the comic books. So I was fine with that. And that scene they have where he, you know, um, is trying to kill Spider Man and he has all the illusions and they're all coming down on him and stuff. That was one of my favorite scenes of that film. That and when Spider Man moved the oh, gun away. My favorite scene is <sighs> the. J. Joe J. John Jonah Jameson scene at oh, the, the very the end, end credits. the end credits, and you're like, oh my gosh, where the are they going? Credit go? scene, the yeah, end yeah. credits is scrolled. Where are they going to go from here? How you know they know Spider Man is Peter Parker? What are they going to do? Mm. Oh, it's going to be great! And right, yeah, I really enjoyed it. What would you rate the movie? Since we didn't, uh, you be remember our rating system? Marvel. Did we do out of five or out of ten? No, out of ten. Out of 10. I would 10. give that a. I would give it a nine out of ten. I loved it so much. I give it an eight out of ten. I thought it was good. I, I think it. I enjoyed. You know, my favorite thing, more. the orange aesthetic when he has that. The, um, what? Okay. And I always look for stills of this and it's so hard to find a good still of it. Sorry. I'm just a Tom Holland fan. Mm -hmm. um, <laughs> is after he wakes up in the prison and he has the, um, is it the Netherlands? The shirt, the shirt for the Netherlands, the orange uh, oh, yeah, rugby yeah. shirt. Mm -hmm. And then he's in the tulip field. The, the color aesthetic in that is very pleasing to the eye. <laughs> What? That's <laughs> it. Okay, moving on to the next movie because we're gonna talk about Far From Home. Yeah, I haven't talked about the kiss. Okay, um, so I think the, the next. Kiss. Okay, we're gonna talk about movies that we thought were just. Uh, no, the next movie is 
that movie. Yeah, I know, but there's other movies that come out between these that we haven't talked about yet. I'm oh. sure you guys know. Well, let's let's do that one first because we. Yeah, but we're going to talk about movies that we weren't too fond of either. Yeah. Okay. Yes. But we're not kicking it off. That's yet. right, scoundrel. 100 percent around to make score. Really, the best scene though, Holland in the field. <laughs> What are you guys talking about? I don't remember. Is that when he, Happy goes to pick yes, him up? Yes, Happy goes to pick him up in the Quinjet. Or Dude, the, how no, do the you know jet. that? Sorry. Man, <laughs> I like this. Before I, I was a Spider-Man Mysterio fan, he was a huge fan of Rey Mysterio, the wrestler. All right. So we're going to talk about The Joker. The Joker was this movie that was directed by... Todd Phillips. Thank you. Of, hang, of Hangover, which I Hangover, love the Hangover one, movies. One, two, and three. When I was in college, me and my roommates literally quoted Hangover all the time. I roomed with a bunch of guys, so That's you know why. it is yeah. what it is. Um, well, a couple of girls too, but we were just you know I'm hangover whatever. Fans. We were huge Hangover fans. Now, not of the second and third films; those were meh. Okay, so when he was going on a whole, oh, my films can't be made today, blah blah. No, your films can't be made today because after Hangover was the best thing he had. The other two were crap. So calm down. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, okay. <laughs> I just realized I just realized Holland it's Holland in a field of flowers in Holland. <laughs> nice. Oh my I gosh. Love I love that the chat just gets derailed. There was a third hangover. Yeah. And yeah. I only saw the first one and I was like, eh, this is okay. Did he do old school? I liked old school. I think he did old school. I think he, he did old school. But anyway, he did this movie called Joker and from the trailer. Which has everything. been nominated for Golden Globe. Yeah. So now we have given it legitimacy. And him, because he got nominated for Best Director. Todd Phillips. Over yeah. Greta Gurig for Little Women. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, I thought you meant Greta, the girl that was like anti-evolution. <laughs> not the anti girl. <laughs> Damn, she got uh, Person of the Year and getting an Oscar nom. No. Um, what to say about this movie? In my, I love, I, it's a very great character study. Mm -hmm. Um, a wonderful social commentary. Honestly, you could have taken out the words Gotham and Joker and Batman. Well, the Batman wasn't in it, but Gotham and Joker and Bruce Wayne or any Waynes. And it still would have been a great movie. It didn't have to be a comic book movie. It was just a very interesting um, portrayal of a man and his mental illness and how society treats those mental illnesses. So it's interesting. I mean, yes, obviously it's in the context of our of a comic book you know universe we're all familiar with. At the same time, it didn't have to be. Yeah, I agree with that. It reminded me a lot of falling down. Yes, and mm -hmm. I. I get I I I completely understand falling down more so now that I'm an adult than I was when I was a kid. Like falling down when I was a kid, I'm like, oh, it's this old man that's just having a bad day and he's becoming some kind of psycho. Now, now as it a makes, man, yeah, it's like a mix of that and Taxi Driver. Yeah. Uh, yes. I, yes. Yeah. Exactly. So that was pretty. I think he was <laughs> he was phenomenal. Like no, I mean, there's uh, no. Walking Phoenix, that was his movie. Phenomenal. Yes. As the Joker. Like probably he's my one of our he's portrayal. one of the best actors we have of this generation. He's up there with Jared Leto yes. for me. Mm -hmm. Why did you just no? Nobody <laughs> says Jared <laughs> Leto. Like you were like, well, yeah, maybe, not for, maybe not for that Joker. <laughs> but he was really good in that other movie with Matthew Cotte that I can't think of right now. The Dallas Dallas uh, Cowboys. Cowboys. No. The Dallas Cowboys. Oh my gosh, she's had three sips of beer and she's gone. <laughs> She just agreed Jared Leto's the second best. Phillips Joker. is the that Billy Eilish. I love me some I like I Billie like Billy Eilish too. too. That's a good transition <laughs> though, man. Phillips is the, that Billy Eilish. Phillips like, I'm the bad guy, not you, Philip. You're the good guy. It's if your last name is Phillips. <laughs> I feel so bad for Leto. Don't the guy has won Oscars. Yeah, he has he, an Oscar. He is a phenomenal actor. And he makes he's a lot good. of money as 30 seconds to Mars. He's fine. Oh, I forgot he does that. Oh, too, yeah. My right? sister saw him live. Yeah, it's fine. Okay, cool. Yeah. All right. So now we're going to talk about movies that came out this year. Was that it? Was Joker the last? Yeah, that was the last. What was Venom? Was that Venom year? was in 2018. It was in October. Oh, okay. That was like one of the first movies we reviewed together. Was it? Mm hmm. You were there. Yeah, we were together. Yep. Hmm. That and... was before the fall. <laughs> Way before the fall. <laughs> okay, so let's talk about some movies that we didn't enjoy that much, and some we have reviewed on the channel. Actually, I think we reviewed almost all of them. Um, <laughs> I know I didn't review that. <laughs> no, but go ahead, let's do it. You want, uh, the first one. Um, should we start with those, or should we start with the big no, bads? No, go ahead. You do. It's, okay, this is your baby. So the you first one that we want to talk about 
is Dark Phoenix. <laughs> yes. Well, who in the chat enjoyed Dark Phoenix? Yes, please tell us how you felt. That was okay. No, Hayden, it's a good uh, live action Joker. It's just, it didn't have to be the Joker. It's the best live action Joker. Yeah, he just, he could have been just a guy having a bad day who happened to wear clown makeup and he didn't have to be the Joker from Gotham. Batman. Well, I mean, no, from, he is from Gotham, Gotham City. City. Yeah, gotcha. that's, Th that's not a real place, though. It is in this world. <laughs> Not in this <laughs> world. All right. So Dark Phoenix. Anybody yeah, well, in the chat how, enjoy it? How does feel about Dark Phoenix? Uh, let's see. I thought the last <laughs> Stan remake was pretty boring. <laughs> Sorry, oh, yeah. I, I, I think I enjoyed Last <laughs> Stan more. No, no, I did not. No, I did not. Dark Phoenix is better. I, I can't let Last Stan like killed those movies for me. It was a big disappointment. But then I think we talked about like a lot of the things happen uh, behind the scenes. Such a as like post -production the stuff original too. idea was to have the scrolls, right? Yes, and they were had, actual but because of art. Captain Marvel, they had to take a lot of that stuff away. They had to change it was some supposed things. to be two movies. Yeah, it was supposed to be two movies. Could have been a good movie, man. It could have been movie. great. Been two, I mean, from you know, Sophie Turner's acting is what it is. <laughs> she's she's she so is, pretty. She's, she's gonna really be pretty. fine. She's gonna be fine. But um, yeah. I, if you ever watch honest trailers, they do a funny thing of how they all just <laughs> that's like the, this is like this is what they always did. All of them her, Michael Pat, all of them are always did that. Like it really hurt because that was the final X-Men movie that we knew because And he was really hoping we'd like it because he made us read the dark. I did not make you, I suggest an old reader, new reader, and both Maddie and I were like, meh. <laughs> on my birthday, man. On his birthday, and he was oh, drunk on his birthday. We're drunk. both like, all right. Yeah, this book is okay. I think I like the movie, but it uh, not come out yet. Michael, I do read comics. Um, that's how I got started with the show yep. um, over a year and a half ago. Omar asked me to read, since I liked comic movies so much, he said, well, why don't you read uh, what? Uh, da, 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 da. Was it Green Lantern? Or no, no, no Infinity Gauntlet. it was Infinity Gauntlet. Mm -hmm. So, and then Omar started my journey. Um, if you ever watch some of the old reels talks, we're in my room. Mm -hmm. This she, is Omar. She has her own house. I have my own house. <laughs> She's an adult. <laughs> I'm an adult, and you—that's all my comic books and stuff like that. Yes, I, I, yes, yes. She does read comics. I do read comics. So it's been a lot harder now being a single mom. Well, you're not a single. Okay, mom. but like your husband's I know dead. he's not dead. He's here. just deployed, and it's right. like he's not you're, here to help me. And it's like, ah. like where is your kid right now? Anyway, like we don't know. <laughs> I think that my kid's actually upstairs with her cousins. Um, Amanda's OG reviews in a flash was great. Thank you so much. Oh, thank you. I loved reviews in the flash. It was, was a fun. lot of fun. It was a good time. Um, so let's we're still some... talking about Dark Phoenix. Are we Dark done Phoenix? with that? We that? We got... Did anybody like Dark Phoenix? Yeah. And Philip Evans, you're right. What is going on with the new mutants movie? I talked to David from Marvel and I, I was joking. I'm like, you guys are going to have a new Mutants Omnibus, right? Like, he's like, yeah, that movie was supposed to come out. And I guess they were waiting on that to release it. They're probably going to release it. don't on know when it's coming out. It won't end up on <laughs> Disney Plus. What does he say? You keep saying single mom. Your husband's like, uh, we got to talk about what the toy means. Okay, well, you have to take care oh, of it. look at there. But... Tim Klein, Amanda, so glad to have you back for this video. Hey, Tim. It was good seeing you. That's right. We got to meet a Tim A few Klein. weeks ago. Yeah. Yeah, a few weeks ago in yeah. uh, Louisville, Kentucky. At the Louisville uh, GalaxyCon. GalaxyCon, right. Yeah, it was very exciting. Uh, yes, not as exciting Got to as... meet Donnie Cates. <laughs> nice guy. Really it was a nice very guy. nice guy, yes. Uh, but it wasn't as exciting as this next When movie. you met Fabian... Fabian Nathan. <laughs> yeah. I was going to talk about the next movie. Oh, that was my segue, Amanda. We we Sorry. we're not in sync yet because it's been a while. So, hey, segue to Hellboy. I forgot. Omar asked me before this. He's like, I'm going to ask you, which one did you like more, Dark Phoenix <laughs> or Hellboy? And I said I hated Hellboy. I absolutely did not like that movie. It was awful. I remember sitting in the movie theater with you, and I said, "We saw I it on." I haven't felt. Like this about a movie oh since Pirates God. of the Caribbean. We too, saw it in that Thank God we saw it in that It was, no like, one was, it there. was like two hours, <laughs> two hours into the movie. I'm like, oh my God, how long can they keep going? Because I'm done. I've checked out like an hour ago. I checked out too. It just the from the crass dialogue. I don't mind swearing for the sake of, but when you when swearing Obviously. when it, there's a purpose, but swearing for the sake of swearing for grotesque for I just I can't. 
and I, not that I, you know, that's not the only issue of that film, but it was just the dialogue of it. I did not care for. And it's so sad because I love some Neil of the CGI. Marshall. I did not care for. They did try to cram a lot into that. Um, hello, Lyric Bendry. <laughs> you got, <laughs> we felt so dirty after we just could not handle being in that theater. It was one of my least oh, favorite the, movies I have seen. Gets this and excited. we and I made Omar go see a current war with me. And not, not only that, but you laughed for like 20 minutes and I'm like, go we're the only assholes in this theater. Well, besides that girl giving that guy head. And then... No, he was, it was the other way around. <laughs> I was like, oh, we just interrupted this lovely couple, obviously having a good time so we can watch this boring ass it Tom was really, Holland movie. I just did it for Tom Holland, Benedict Cumberbatch, and yeah. Michael Shannon. And it was, I forgot he was, oh my yeah, he was, Anyway, <laughs> Hellboy, no, don't Hellboy. go see it. Save your money. Don't, save don't your, even, don't save even rent your, it. Save your life. Yes. <laughs> like, don't walk to, like, <laughs> save your life. Yeah. Uh, it, but nobody gets this except what he says, Omar. Just saying, just saying. They should have oh, let. Oh, they all love you, Omar. They should have let. The, I don't know about that. You're right. Toro I agree. They should have. Yes, absolutely. Yes, they right. were all heartbroken. All of them. The the actors behind because all that. All the, the actors. Creators. It was fun. I like that. Is I like those versions of Hellboy. Yeah, those I are don't phenomenal. understand why they wanted to go with this version of Hellboy. There was nothing about and, it that was. Appealing. And there was glimmers of hope because it was Neil and Marshall. I feel bad that was, girl Mila. Jojovovich cannot act. Is that how you say her name? I think. Jojovovich? I feel like you're just throwing words out there. All right, Jojovovich. Jojovovich. What the hell was I saying? Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah. That Neil Marshall, you know, and, th and then Mike Mignola had given his blessing. He was like, this is Hellboy, and I help yeah, co-write just... this. And we actually reviewed on Over a New Reader Hellboy. So The comic. The comic right. book. So... I I just I just was not it. This was not it. It was very disappointing. And it's not the collector. No, that is the best. Thank you, Matthew. Definitely not one of. So, I would never say it with this. me. Not yo yo, yo bitch. Yo -yo -bitch. <laughs> <laughs> that is you. not how you say your name. What kind of beer is that? Amanda was drinking a cider, and I was drinking. Which one are you? Okay, Cougar Bait. And this is Cider Boys Grand Mimosa. It li literally tastes like a mimosa. This literally tastes ball. like a cougar paint. <laughs> <laughs> like, like a blue moon. Like a blue moon. Like a blue moon. Yeah. Oh. It's a local distillery. Is or, it a uh, ale? Not distillery. But blonde ale. Whiskey. American blonde ale. Sorry. Brewery. Okay. Uh, moving on to the next two book <laughs> movies that we didn't think that highly of. Which One. I guess they're they're Aww. based off of the... What? Thank you, Hayden. Yeah. What a, like what a guy. See? I like that guy. Don't make You're me yo-yo bitch. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I think we're butchering her name. <laughs> so bad. What's up from Australia? What's going on, Australia? Hey, I actually have been talking to people from Australia for work. So. I've actually... We're starting an apprenticeship program at my uh, association, and we're basing it off an Australian model. See? So you were you so go. worried. You were like, I haven't done a live stream forever. I don't know what I'm going to talk about. Look, now you're talking about your association. <laughs> Plugging like plumbers but... and HVAC techs. There That's we right. go. <laughs> Cougar bait. I don't. It actually think tastes I very good, Matthew. It's actually really good. It actually really is for Country Boy. Country Boy Brewing, um, local here in the state of Kentucky. Very good. It is good. Yeah. Um, so we had Brightburn. Yeah, we, we watched a bootleg version of that to see it. <laughs> sorry, sorry. <laughs> we watched the legit version um, to see it. It was, was not what we were expecting. I wanted more. I wanted, I wanted more, more of it too. And yeah, it wasn't that. And then uh, for some reason, she put glass in. You're not going to a lot. Of, but a lot of people, because it's based off of the theme of comp superheroes and stuff, I decided to add it in here. I really need to fix yeah. that sleep thing. I think um, this is where a lot of my viewers and me separate because I was not probably a fan this. of Unbreakable. I've never been a fan of that movie. I and I wasn't Unbreakable. either. He made me watch it. I said, wow, this is really boring. <laughs> <laughs> Unbreakable. And then uh, what was the, the second one? Split. And Split, I was never a Split. fan of. M. Night Shyamalan, man. I don't know. There's just something about those movies. I the only I, There was only one movie that he did that was really good, and that was uh, the Last Way. Airbender. <laughs> no. <laughs> last, nobody says The Last Airbender. <laughs> Lady in the Water. Nobody says Lady no. in the Water either. <laughs> the even village. though that was his original <laughs> story. Uh, the Village. No. Uh, maybe the, You're the beginning, I'm beginning to think every... Who's going to watch the uh, 
the show that looks on Apple interesting, Plus. Though. Who's gonna watch? What is it called? Servant. Oh, who's gonna watch that? that Come looks, on, guys. That looks, is With it a, a fake baby? Yeah, it's a oh, show. I thought it was a movie. Or is it, it a, movie? a movie? Is it a movie? I don't know. I don't have Apple Plus. Someone I'm correct yours. me if I'm wrong. I'm gonna borrow your Apple Plus. <laughs> Dude, Philip Evans, the devil was not good. Dude, and let me tell you why the devil wasn't that good. I'm gonna, I'm That's the one there in the elevator, right? Yeah, the elevator. Yeah. There's this one scene where the Latino guy drops a sandwich and it falls on the meat. And he, he's like, there's this uh, saying where I'm from, all Latin people know that when the sandwich drops and it lands on its meat, it means the devil's here. And I remember looking at my brother going, That's not what Latin is that what mom say? says? Like, is that a thing? <laughs> he was like, no. <sighs> Uh, M. Night Shyamalan is great. All right, there we go. To each your own, man. To each your own. Everybody yes. has an opinion. Um, I liked the, some of his stuff. I honestly, I thought the village was okay. I, I like signs. Yeah, I, a lot I, of people hate signs, but I liked it. Yeah, I thought, um, the visit wasn't that bad. Oh, yeah, that was With pretty the, good. The grandparents, mm -hmm. I enjoyed that. With um, the happening. <laughs> Oh, God, please. If anyone can justify it with a happening, don't. Okay, okay. Smart log liked it. I actually <laughs> liked it. Everyone else hated it. Dude, Marky you... Mark talks to plants. No! <laughs> no! That, that scene right there, I was like, uh-uh. And I remember when the, the chick Zelly kills Chanel. the two boys, like the two little boys that were getting on my nerves anyway. I'm like, oh, thank God those kids are dead. And M. Night Shyamalan was talking about it. He's like, yeah, I wanted to cross all kinds of, like, things. What's that? Anyone seen? What do you want to he is Femi and ECSO. So. Movie? <laughs> what? Oh, okay. To each their own. <laughs> I like signs. I'll, I'll give you that. Yeah. All right. Where were we? Uh, we're we're still talking about glass. Glass, yeah, glass. Yeah. I mean. But if you liked it, cool. So um, as far as comic book movies, I think those are the ones we want to talk about. And I think then we want to get kind of talk about TV shows. And yeah, let's talk about those yeah, TV shows. And talk. what I think is so interesting about the TV shows we're going to talk about for 2019 is how, while the comic book movies that came out and about that were movies are really superhero movies, right? They're about, most of them were for my, you know, even Alita Battle Angel, it's not a superhero genre, but it's still about good guys winning. Whereas the TV shows we're going to talk about, those are the ones we liked, my a few exceptions, are different. It's, taking these genres and kind of putting a satirical like lens up to them and um, looking at it with more of a critical lens as far as when it comes to society and stuff. Um, and so which one do you want to talk about first that you let you think is your favorite that you want to talk about? Oh, well, you were picking favorites right you now? Could, yeah. I thought we were just going down the list. Well, I was just, I made a list and he I'm can like, go off of it. If he your wants list to. is good. Okay. Um, well, the first one I think, cause we just, we should both... not start watching that one. No. Okay. No. Let's start with. Uh... He's like, oh, it's a junior list. No, no, we shouldn't start with that one. Hold on now. <laughs> Sorry about that. I. She knows how it is. She knows how it is. Okay, so let's talk about Watchmen. Sorry. That was what I was going to start with. <laughs> so Watchmen, we're not going to spoil anything, by the way. Yes, we won't, because I know that just finished not too long ago. Watchmen has been better, or. It's over right it's now. Over. I don't know if there's going to be a second season. Dave, Damon, so if anyone's been watch, reading the news, um, the Damon, news. Damon Lindelof, who is the creator of the series um, on HBO, kind of hinted that this is it, that really? we might just get this one season because he kind of told the story he told. Like It's more of like they could do another Watchmen, but it won't be this Watchmen because of the way they're kind of – Doing with the anthology series, if you will, right? right? Kind of like how True Detective is, where it's not necessarily the same characters every time. It's different stories in the same universe. So, um, before we talk, yeah, no, go ahead. This is me too, because one of the reasons, there are a couple of reasons why I didn't watch Watchmen, and this was one of the reasons because Watchmen is perfect. Like, yeah. it can't be a movie. It can't be a TV show. They tried the movie. And it can't no be a prequel it. with Before Watchmen. And it's not the same without Alan Moore. And Alan Moore does not want anything to do with these things. He, I think they only give credit to Dave Gibbons as co-creator, and that's it. They don't even mention Alan Moore's name, Yeah, which is the way that he wants it. But, hey, that's up to him. So, going into it, I'm like, all right, whatever. I'll go in with an open mind. Let's see what this is about. I watched the movie, and I thought it was a, okay. In episode one, I was like, okay, this is nothing like Watchmen. Yeah. Like, 
there are tones, political and social, social commentaries commentary. in there that are mm -hmm. totally like Watchmen. But when you're looking at it on the just plain surface, it's not Watchmen. And then they get through the episodes. By the time I get to episode four, I'm like, this is a really good show. Why it has to be Watchmen, I don't know. But by the time we get to episode six, oh. I'm like, how does this connect to Watchmen? I, I don't understand. But you watch episode six and you're like, oh, oh. That's the oh, that's shit. nostalgia episode, right? <laughs> yeah, the nostalgia yeah. episode. That, I was like, oh, man, what? That's how they tie it in? Oh, okay, dude. Oh, I was, that, that, that to me, it almost made my favorite TV, uh, my favorite comic book based show. I would agree with that. It is up there as it's probably my it's top one of the two. best. For yes, sure. it is one of the best it, that's come out this year. It had no right to be this good. It no. was so good. Though. And, and and that's Regine, really because Regina, Regina King, King is phenomenal. She carried that show. I mean, there's obviously Jeremy Irons. Um, I don't even know if I can tell you who he plays if you haven't seen it because I don't want to give anything away. <laughs> Raw Shark. Raw Shark. <laughs> Go ahead. So I don't even know if we should even say who Jeremy Irons plays. No, in we this. should. Yeah. yeah just, so just watch. But it. he's. I mean, he's good. He's always a great actor. But yeah. Regina King. This is her. This is she, her TV series. She's queen. That's right, man. That's and right. she. Oh wow. I'm I surprised mean, she didn't get some kind of. She got snubbed. And I, there's. I mean, there's a lot. We can. I could do a whole Golden Globes episode about what got snubbed and why it shouldn't have gotten snubbed. We're not here to talk about that today. Um, but as far as Watchmen's concerned. Phenomenal. Phenomenal. It's I mean, just I, a lot I of the, really, the way it's directed. The way it's directed. The, the people that are in it. I mean, it had Don Johnson, like Tim it, Blake Nelson, which I didn't. Sorry, I got way excited. Uh, about Tim Blake Nelson or no, Don Johnson? I don't care about Tim Blake Nelson. <laughs> no, I had Jean Smart, which I haven't seen her in a, anything in forever. I, I didn't know it was Louis Gossett Jr. until episode six. Like, I'm watching the whole thing and I'm like, all right, it's an old guy. Old, oh, black, old black yeah, guy. Yeah, I didn't I'm know like, that Oh either. shit, it's Iron Eagle Lewis Gossett Jr. It's Enemy Mine Lewis Gossett Jr. Oh shit, now I really like it. Yeah. Near Mint is on my list of favorite comic shows. Thank you. Aww. Thank you, Nathaniel. That's Very awesome, kind Nathaniel. of you. All right, so moving on because we're going to keep going about this uh, this show, but it's a great show. Yes. So it's on, it's, and we can, uh, the only reason we can't list. really talk about it a lot is because it just ended and we don't want to spoil anything for anyone. Um, yeah, I think he wore. Did Don Johnson wear. <laughs> okay, why are you asking me that? I see Bridget. the question. I see the question. <laughs> I don't remember. Yeah, Philip Evans, <laughs> Enemy Mine. Yeah, Enemy Mine fans unite. All seven of us. With, yeah, looking with like Dennis Stephanie Quaid. Dennis Quaid time. is in that too. Go ahead. Sorry, okay. that's. The... So the next show we're going to talk about, which is this guy didn't like it though. He was trash and an insult to the original graphic My novel. My goodness, is this Alan Moore? Is this Alan Moore? <laughs> I I'm believe curious that's to see what why he thought. you'd say that. Yeah. Doesn't mean you can't enjoy the original and source material. Too. That's true. And uh, Small Lock brings just up, said yeah, that. yeah, if you want to put his thank you. Well said. Yes, because the adaptations and the source here are different endings. That's why you have to always look like the MCU. What they do, there'll be undertones of the comic, comics, and what they, but you cannot say, oh, well, it was like the comics, so I don't like it. No, it's. Dozens of us. <laughs> <laughs> Dozens. So, um, the next one we want to talk about is... Yeah, we finished it. We yeah, finished. similar to... Uh, have we finished what? Doom Patrol. I mean, no. Watch, Watch it. Yes, but we finished it. That's why we don't want to say, talk about the Because this is another right good either. one. Which is similar to Watchmen, right? And that is The Boys on Amazon Prime. Solid. Oh, what a great... So, liked it I've more never, than I did the original now, comic. he read the comic. I never had read the comic, but Carl Urban, and I'm here for Carl Urban as a Lord of the Rings fan. Are you... And, how dare you? Lady I'm more Galadriel. of a Lord of the Rings fan. I'm more of a Lord of the Rings fan than I apparently am a Buffy fan because I've actually like read every source material of Lord of the Rings. I'm like where I stopped Buffy after a certain point. And you're like, you're not a real Buffy fan. <laughs> no one's saying that. No one's saying that. You're hearing voices in your head again. Okay. Uh, no, the voice was phenomenal. It's it's been rumored to be, you know, a TV show for a long time, and then when it finally came out, man, it came out, and I'm like, Strong. how is this gonna be? Because they change a lot of the things they have that to. were yeah. in that were Garth Ennis tropes in the comic books, and I'm okay with the changes. They were really good, and made it more enjoyable for the general audience. Well, the general adult audience, because it is definitely adult oriented. Oh, hundred percent. It's so everything from the gill rape. <laughs> 
so weird and just it, it's so good and the characters are awesome i still there are some characters that i like a little more in the comic books but in this version i like i'm lucky I, for I, me i haven't read the comic books so no I no like who I like. and it's yeah. hard it, it's you know you can split the two different yeah. the two they're two different genres but yeah it was a great show it, it was almost my favorite show but i think it is your my favorite, favorite comic book i think show, it was right? my favorite yeah especially mm -hmm. by the end of it um just the way they and I, i'm sure this is how the comic book is as well but i never got a chance to read the comic book yet you could you i still, still could i still no yeah no one is stopping you. no one is stopping me but i still have to read hickman's you do have to read House of, and Powers of yes. yes so i have to read hickman's x-men yet so that's probably on my list of things to do over my winter break um but just the dark comedy and satire in this seeing superheroes as being owned by corporations i just the whole idea behind it i loved and the twist at the end of this yeah where it's gonna go and they've already had i mean obviously if you guys have watched it comes out in 2020 in the middle of 2020 um they've already have some trailers for season two on youtube if you guys are watching but and i love the character the actor who plays huey because he looks like joshua jackson and i think he's the son of dennis quaid Right. Yeah, we learned that. We learned the that. The weirdest way we possible. I watched that in a Meg Ryan. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> um, so I like Meg Ryan directed. I, she was the America's sweetheart for she a long time, America. and now I don't even know who is. Or the what, what's her name? Elise Billish. Billy. 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 Billy Eilish is a pop star. No, she's not the. Meg she even Ryan. American. Yeah, she is. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. She's American. I don't know. What who. departure from the comics did you like the most? Um. That's it. Question I will for Omar. tell you that the it made the female characters more than one dimensional. Um, is the, Starlight not as no no in the none of the female she is, characters or even I uh, do miss the Elizabeth one dim shoes character. Is she she having... wasn't she wasn't in the comics. Oh, okay, well, so I enjoyed her role. I do miss the one dimensional bad base. guys though. That's the one thing I wish this show had to make it that weird over the top funniness that the the comics had. Uh, which one do you want to? No, any oh, Omar is America's sweet. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> is <laughs> Billy Eilish single? Amanda? The fact that you don't know really breaks my heart. That it really know. breaks my heart. I saw Justin Bieber, but he's dating someone else. For just a second, I want to go back to the beginning of the show. Omar made us all sad. Amanda wasn't here. I told him we should here do now. that. She's here now. I told him I was like, we matters. should make it. Never mind. Okay, go on. We're talking about the boys. So the boys, solid. Probably my Oh my gosh, man, if I had to choose, it's in my top three for sure. It's in my yes. top three, but not my favorite. Not favorite. Next up, this is one that you and Maddie both really enjoyed. And oh, I, I did it was enjoy okay. it. And this was Umbrella because Academy. Um, but, yeah, we actually reviewed the first trade paperback, right? Mm -hmm. And we, um, we liked the trade paperback okay, but I liked I think the, the show was better. show was better, yes. I agree with that. And I'm a My, my Chemical Romance fan, so still waiting on those uh Come back towards Gerard Way if you're watching. No, yeah, Gerard Way. Okay. Go back and write Umbrella I, Academy. He's the one emo band control. I haven't seen live, and I'm disappointed. And they are doing a show, but in Los Angeles, which I can't go to that. I mean, you can. But I don't. I can't. <laughs> but you're a single mom. Yeah. Oh, my God. <laughs> That's your thing now. <laughs> um. Okay. So I thought it was... It was good. Um, it was okay. I thought it could have been a lot quirkier than it sh than it than it really was. And I think a lot of the it may pacing, be next season. The pacing was really slow for me in the middle. Yes, the, I the agree. first episode and the last episode were so they phenomenal. Had, yes, they had some great episodes in between. I, yeah, I, I so like the time travel episode was really yeah. Fun. I like the time travel episode. Um, I think mixing in elements of the second graphic novel with uh, Cha Cha and uh, the other character, the the the. Mary J. Blige. Oh, Hazel. Hazel, thank you. Yes, um, I enjoyed that. That really helped out, too. I think it did. Because um, those characters, you know, since I've been going to conventions, since that's come out. Me, too. I had to ask Amanda who she was so I could Google her images. Just yes. just to see her other but here, I just thought, chops. man, Aiden Gallagher, who played number five, is phenomenal. The kid? I love that kid. The little boy? Yes. Yeah, he was good. And Robert Sheehan, who played, um, oh God, I can't think of his name. Tran trans. Not uh, oh gosh, the brother that the brother that um, 
can see the ghost. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I cannot remember. I can't remember his name. Off the top of my head. Um, but those are some of my favorites. Yeah, number um, five was a he was a scene stiller. He was a scene stiller. Well, unfortunately, sure. what's her face? Really Ellen good. Page. Ellen Page was kind of bland. And I think that's, that's they were just going for the name, right? Ellen yeah, Page. but I think even the character in even in the comic book, I remember the character was meh. Yeah, she could have been so. She could have been so much better. Dark. She should have been, like, been dark Venus. She should have channeled that Sophie Turner. <laughs> yeah, that one. Uh, yeah, that thing. <laughs> all right, so, uh, so I, you liked it a lot more than I did. Now, my yes. favorite show, my favorite comic this book is show his this favorite year. Show. And it's in my top three for sure. Doom Patrol. Oh my gosh. Doom Patrol <gasps> is the definition of the Danny perfect... in the street. Oh. Yes, Danny in the street. Everything Just about the portrayal it. of all the characters. It was like it was perfect it casting. Morrison it was a much better cyborg than what we got in the movies. <laughs> we don't talk about that. I know, but I'm just saying. Until they released the <laughs> Snyder Cut. Um, that freaking show was so good. And it's a shame that a lot of people haven't watched it. They should. Because but... it's was part of the DC universe. Did they pick it up for second season? I think. Um, she would know. They announced the season two. It's going. It should be premiering um, in 2020, both on the DC Universe and HBO Max. So it's going to so be so confusing. Which I'm sorry, I have a feeling. Eventually, DC Universe is going to take over the HBO Max. No, other way around. <laughs> <laughs> I know. Good. Good. Thing. It was a brilliant show. If you it read the brilliant. Grant Morrison comic books, you are going to love this. It was so quirky. It was so well done. It's so hard. The acting is wonderful. And there are it. some heartbreaking episodes. It was oh, it was so good. I loved it. I can't. Yes. That was my favorite comic book. Show. And there were there has been a lot of good comic book shows. There have been this I mean, year. Yes. Crazy. We already talked about a few of them, and it's just incredible to see. But uh, like I said, again, these shows are not your normal superhero genre right. type shows. Because also with the DC app was did you did you have something? I did not because I'd never watched it. <laughs> I will say Swamp Thing could have been so much better. But the fact that they canceled it before before episode so one much. aired. I think that's I was why just I didn't like, watch it. I, no, well, I After ended, up, first episode, I ended I up watching the season, okay. but I was just like, what's the point? It could have been epic. It could have been at you know Alan it, it definitely borrowed heavily from the Alan Moore run. Yeah. But it's just man. It really sucked that they canceled it. Like before it even there's it premiered. doesn't mean that there's not a chance that they can't redo it again on HBO Max. When right. It, yeah. Um, Smotlock, did you watch uh, the crossover event with uh in uh the CW shows? Because they actually have <laughs> Oh yeah. So that's actually we'll talk about that we'll here. Talk about in a second. We'll talk about that in a second. Um but again with the DC Universe app, the last thing I do want to mention because Omar turned me on to this show and i fell in love with it you're making condition no i mean <laughs> <laughs> you're condition. the show that we're going to talk about right. next sorry my bad what was the next show uh oh yeah it's a choice. cartoon young justice outsiders um so after i watched the first two seasons i was devastated to learn that they had canceled it but so happy to know that dc universe is going to bring it back Yes. And the um, reason to get the DC Universe app was, was because of Young Justice. Young Justice season three. Yeah, that was it. Young, that I'm was sorry, Young Justice Outsiders. Outsiders. Um, what I love about the Young Justice series, and it's always, especially the, the second season was like this. It's definitely, it's a cartoon, obviously. So there's, they want to appeal to kids, but there are very adult themes in it, right? That was they my talk favorite about thing human about trafficking it. and things like that. Yeah. In, drugs, or meta trafficking, dance, but yes. th honestly, season one and two were just like that. yeah, they were, and that's what I love about it as a cartoon as a whole. So I was so glad to see it back. Um, I love they're still doing the same old thing with you know Batman has a secret team, Nightwing has a secret team. No one knows who's on whose secret team, all, and they're all everybody's like <laughs> betraying each other behind. Meanwhile, the scenes. you have the light over here, and they're just doing their thing, and they're constantly subverting our heroes, even if they think they win, they don't win, and. I'm just glad that Will and um, what's her name? I can't think of her name right now. Artemis didn't end up together because the poor Wally and the whole thing. I, you know, it it was. I was glad to see Young Justice back, and I was hopefully too. they'll keep going with it. I believe they are. So, so did they adapt any of Peter David's Young Justice? Not re maybe a little bit. This with one some was of the very things. much like the Judas. I mean, they had the Terra element. Yeah, it borrows heavily yeah. from Marv Wolfman's run and also from Jeff Johns, Teen yeah. Titans. 
yeah, maybe a little bit of Young Justice from, but it's it's kind of its own thing. It's got, it's very it's really teen. Thing. It's really Teen Titans. It for, really is Teen Titans. Like adolescence. Like yeah. that's about it. Uh, Harley Quinn. I've only seen the first episode, and who's oh, what is her name that does her voice? Uh, she was in Big Bang Theory. Kaylee Kuko. Is that how you pronounce her name? Mm, someone else tell Jojo me. Jojo bitch. <laughs> Jojo <laughs> bitch. Um, um, her she, name is Kaylee. Was, uh, I don't know. It was interesting to hear her talk for the character yeah. of Harley Quinn. Maybe because maybe I'm just used to uh, the animated series Harley. Uh, so it was it was okay. Kaylee Kuko. So I see. Kukoa. I was Kuoko. Kuoko. Don't Please ask me. I'm the worst. <laughs> All right. Uh, moving on to. This is a show uh, that you really like that I enjoy. This the is not actually. Um, it doesn't matter. It's based I've on never read book. the comics, but I like all the actors in it, and it is Stumptown on ABC. Um, Dex Parios, a novice private investigator, former Marine with PTSD, comes home to Stumptown or Portland, Oregon, to take care of her brother, and she and who's you know basically working in a bar run by her. Once a lover, now a friend, Gray, which is played by Jake Johnson, which is Nick from New Girl, my one of my favorite actors of just from that. You just couldn't help but just bring that. it back around. You just love that New Girl, that just that. Yeah. That's it. And Michael Ely, um, who's always fantastic, and based on Greg Rucka's comic. Yes, and yeah. I see. I've never. Yeah, it's Greg Rucka's comic, which I never read. It's a good run. But I enjoy this. I mean, it's on ABC, so there's only so much they can do as far as the content, right? But I think that Colby Smolders does a great job as Dex. I enjoy her in this. It's good to see her not as the How I Met Your Mother character, Robin, or as Maria Hill. It's good to see. I think she brings a lot of depth to the role. She's a pretty good actress, honestly. She is, honestly. Yeah, yeah. she really is. And even, I mean, Michael Ely plays the similar characters he plays in a lot of stuff mm -hmm. that I've seen him in. Um, Jake Johnson gets is to Jake play Jake Johnson the guy that did the voice of Spider-Man? Yeah. Okay. That's what, yeah, the, that the, guy? Yeah, he's that in guy. It? Yeah, he's in it. Um, I so, really enjoy it. It's got decent... Toby Smothers with Smolders was a perfect cast. I agree. I think she was too. I was really proud. I was really happy to see her in it. I've enjoyed this the show so far. Mm -hmm. It's got um mid middle of the road ratings, so there's a good chance that ABC may renew it. Oh, they okay. haven't gone to that route yet, but mm -hmm. I'm hoping they will because I really do enjoy it. I the think comics it's a great, are pretty solid. I, I like show. to check out the show. I like, you should, yeah, I should. Um now, have you seen any? Uh, let's see what came out. Jessica Jones season three came out, uh, uh, and Problem was with Punisher the Punisher Pun season two was that this year? I think so. But the Netflix shows are all over, much like the case it was with Swamp Thing, where they canceled things. So that kind of ruined me from checking anything else out. Yeah, it's been that hard. Iron Fist. That was Though there is that, you know, even even uh, Tom Hiddleston is rooting for uh, them to Cox. bring back Charlie Cox as Daredevil. Yeah. He's good. He's, he's good. good. He's he's my. He's favorite. just siding with just, his Brit friend. Well, they're also in a Broadway show together right now called Betrayal. He's siding with his British Broadway so, buddy. That's why I British think they're Broadway doing it together. Buddy. Yeah. And then you know he has Loki, so he has a little bit of pull at Disney right now. Right. Yeah. So now we're talking about. Oh no, sorry. Uh, so the CW has had this uh, crossover that okay. started last year with what was it? Elseworlds. Elseworlds, right? Mm -hmm. They've been leading they up to this the thing. monitor, yeah. So it led up to this five-part crossover event, and three of the five parts have aired We're not year. about to talk about spoilers, but... Favoritism. Favoritism, that's right. <laughs> oh, uh, uh, Tom Hilton. Um, yes, that's right. Mm -hmm. Crisis on Infinite Earths came out, and it started... It's pretty cool the way they're doing it. I like the way that they're doing it. It starts off as a Supergirl episode, and then it continues into Batwoman, Batwoman and then, then the it continues Flash. into the Flash... Yeah. And they each kind of play a part into um, this crossover event that's going on. Yes. Where the multiple Earths from different dimensions are being destroyed. <laughs> yes. And that's cross. Oh, that's why. Jim Mint and Near Mint live stream. That was a good crossover. That, that was, was a good. Cross Not as good as the Amazing Amanda coming back. Like, that. this has been the best episode of Near Mint Condition. Oh, thank uh, you. This Mark. week. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'm kidding. I'm just kidding. I love her. All right. So, um, so we have this big crossover event that's Crisis on Infinite Earths, where all the dimensions, much like uh, that question. this, this one, no, the other one, 
the, no, you answered this one because you actually both. <laughs> they're for tweens. They you actually, know, they, I, you know, the funny I thing is, I kind of agree with so, that. So, Omar, I haven't actually watched, like, I stopped watching The Flash after. You lasted longer than I did. Yeah, and I've, and Arrow, I haven't watched in the last probably two seasons. Mm -hmm. um, but our 16 year old cousin loves, loves these shows. Loves these. And she is not like, was never a comic book fan and everything like that, but now she is yeah. into all I remember all taking it. her when she was a little, like, seven-year-old to go see Avengers 1. Yeah. And she loved, but now, yeah, she's into this. She's into it. And I can kind of see that because CW, the way, it reminds me a lot of the way Buffy was. Like, well, because it was the same. It's the same yeah. network. I'm going to keep my damn mouth shut, man. You know, like, I mean, it was. <laughs> I forgot about that. It was no, but WB it started, started and then WB, CW, right? like, what? Same network. WB, CW. My bad. Warner Brothers still owns it all. It doesn't matter. But yeah, it was always a tween thing. Um, say their feelings. <laughs> okay. Yes, that's how they do it. Yeah, but, the writing is rough. That's not a lot. What was really cool about this? Okay, what do you guys think of Supergirl season five so far? I'm a big fan of Carrie. Can't wait for the last two parts of Crisis. I, I'm also. I love her as Supergirl. I think she is a phenomenal Supergirl. Who, what is the actress's name? Melissa Benoist. Which I didn't like her in Glee, so I was. She's better Supergirl than she was yeah, as Amanda the is Lea Michelle knockoff in Glee. When they're like, "Oh, Lea Michelle's gonna come back," so we'll just. She could be the next one. I will say that this has been a lot of fun, not because it's just a crossover event. Yeah. But because of all the cameos they've had from uh, different shows, the theme even music, having Kevin like, Conroy in there. I know, like. Kevin Conroy. Being, I hope we're not spoiling anything for so anyone. So we're not going to talk about spoilers, but Kevin Conroy. I think people knew that was. Yeah, we knew that Brandon Ralph was going to play Superman because you King know, come Superman. The King, yes. But the best part. Tom Welling. No. No. <laughs> Erica Kane or no? What's her name? Oh no! no the girl who played uh, Lois in her nose job. Oh no! That was the no. best part. Okay. John Williams score for like yes, maybe a second, right. so they don't that get was sued. The best part, What's sorry. the best part when you? <laughs> He's got the Kingdom Come Alpha, and you hear Whoops. the John Williams score, and you're like, that's it, that's it. Oh, they couldn't, they couldn't use it anymore, or they're going to get sued. So, oh my God. And they take a lot of elements from the comic, which if anyone remembers that I was, that was a rough one for me to get through an older or a new reader was Christ of Infinite Earths. <laughs> That broke her. <laughs> that broke her. Yeah, like, she texted me, motherfucker, I'm taking a break. I mean, we need I'm to take a, a break. break. I'm taking a break. Oh, thank Christmas. you, Michael. I, thank you for that. I wish I could do Supergirl. YouTube show is oh Amanda. Yes, Amanda is Supergirl. She's our Supergirl. Or um, some people keep mentioning the car the Charlie Cox Daredevil with Spider Man. That's the one up. that you wanted. There's to multiple do. people right, well, talking what is, what about is the it. Original question uh, up here uh, with Hayden. Hayden. Okay. Yes, there is a rumor because obviously now that it's been revealed that Spider Man is Peter Parker, there have been rumors that. Maybe Daredevil will be his lawyer. What? What about She Hulk? She also fights the law. But she had they have they, they don't have a She Hulk. Like they, they don't have could. She -Hulk. They could. They might. I don't know they if they'd probably will. Her. Well, they're, they're going but, to right because it's one of. The but TV not shows. by the time. Not by the time they already have a release date for Spider Man Three. There's no way that's going to happen because if you think about the timeline of the Marvel, um, the Marvel TV shows, I think. Uh, da, 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 where is it? Darn it! Darn it! Darn it! Darn it! Darn it! Oh, Whoa, here. language. Okay. <laughs> Um, WandaVision comes out spring of 2021. What? Falcon Winter Soldier. Well, no, 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 yes. no, 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 no. WandaVision is not coming out next yeah, year? No, what, Falcon Winter Soldier comes out fall of 2020. They're already filming no, Falcon Winter no, Yes, no. uh-huh, I looked this up. Can somebody prove me right? <laughs> I didn't want to say And then Loki right. comes out spring of 2021. No, they are filming because I'm on Instagram a and lot. I follow a lot of Sebastian She's Stan on Instagram, Instagram right stuff. Now. And they're filming Falcon Winter Soldier right no, now. No, I know, but... They're they, filming... But they haven't even released any, like, footage or, or anything. They've released some concept stuff for WandaVision. That doesn't mean they're filming it. They there, could have just done it. Someone please tell hey, me somebody if I'm in the comments. It. Erica Durant. Okay, that's her name. Sorry. Erica Durant. That bikini scene. <laughs> yes, not Erica Kane. I'm thinking of uh, who's, who's all Eric, my children. Who's Erica Durant? In that's uh, Lois Lane from the original Smallville. Who got a nose job? I thought it looked like she had a nose job. <laughs> She's too much woman for Spider-Man, Omar. <laughs> Who? Who? <laughs> <laughs> what? Wait, I feel like we're having three different conversations. Because we're talking about... Uh, what were we talking about? When does... Oh, yeah. Does anybody in the chat know when one division comes out, please? So I can correct Hold Amanda. Hold on. I'm going to Google it. Oh, I don't have internet right now. I got internet. Um. Oh, uh, Erica Durant is She-Hulk? No. Maybe I'm behind. I'm so confused. Hold on a second. What we am I Googling? Look. 
Uh, when does WandaVision, WandaVision come out? WandaVision come out. Sorry, dead air. Keep talking, man. I smile. Release date. <laughs> smile. Smile. <laughs> I don't know what he wants me to do. 2021. Oh, my gosh. Why don't you ever listen to me? I did my research ahead of time. I should have listened to her. <sighs> okay. This is why I've forgotten I how animated the show <laughs> because Omar never listened to me. <laughs> we were on a break. All right. So, wow. So, Disney Plus is not going to have any That's why, shows you know, I until 2020. Really? It'll be Falcon and Soldier. So, I, as far as Marvel's concerned, because What If I think is also in 2021. So, wow. I don't see She Hulk coming out because 2021 is also when Spider Man 3 is going to be released. So, Tom Holland has a very busy schedule uh coming up so <laughs> get him. Busy <laughs> schedule. really okay he does. He does. i thought they did cast she hulk time of death for the reunion what is it <laughs> amanda's right <laughs> they did just sorry we should have read that comment instead of googling but, yeah but uh, omar no doesn't believe I, me. It's, <laughs> not, did my research it's not that she does she does she was the research of the show I wanted Gina Carano as Wonder Woman or Big Bar. Gina Carano is awesome in The Mandalorian. Oh, she was great in The Mandalorian. And her acting oh, has seen, gotten a little bit better. Seven, though, no, not yet. Mm, has okay. gotten a lot better than, yes. um, was she in Fast and the Furious? Yes, I think Fast she was in the Furious. I think she was in the, one of those. Uh, yeah. Um, was that She'd it? be a good Big Barda. Um, the shows? Was that it? Well, I mean, as far as, we, I mean, we could talk about. Neither one of us watched. So let's season... talk about my favorite part, and this does not give any spoilers away. But if you want to stay away from spoilers of the Crisis on Infinite Earths, I just want to mention one thing about it. So just keep that in mind. And that is my favorite part about Crisis, besides the John Williams Superman score, was the death of the Titans. <laughs> like, yeah, not... that's what we were talking about. They used, they about. used stock footage from the show, and then they just said, oh, shitty Earth of rock, of the yes. universe app is dead. And you're like, did they just kill the Titans off screen? I think they killed the Titans. They did. They called Titans awesome. off screen. Yeah, which was my favorite thing. Um, so that was why we were talking about earlier that someone said the Titans is basically a CW show is swearing. That's, that's yeah, you're so, right. Yes, yeah. I don't know how season two is. I couldn't finish season one. I know she got. She's a saint. She got further than I did. I don't know how. I watched. Did you finish the, season one. I finished season one. I watched the first episode of season two, and then I just like mm, you know. All right, and and that was that's it for our movies and yeah. TV shows. Uh, so let's as take, far as comic book are concerned, I mean, I could go on about other stuff that really I can. enjoyed. You all know for uh, those members of the show that have been around for, around a, while, for a while, there's a lot Amanda I could talk about. To go. So let's take some questions from the chat. Yeah. Any questions? Does anyone have any questions? Um, while this catches up, Amanda, nice to see you again from yep. Surya. Love that guy. The final Amanda return, the Goku of Doom. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? What does that make me? Oh, hey. <laughs> if she's Goku, what am yeah, I? Vegeta. Yeah, Vegeta's cool. Yeah. Oh, wait, the what? Titans was okay. I haven't seen season two, so I don't know. Yeah. Um. Yeah, how have you been? That's my Good. question. Until they, this catches yeah. up and then we can I think start. we also talked about maybe possibly uh, doing a show, maybe New Year's Eve, to talk about what well i'm so glad you asked that as i was about to talk about this <laughs> um so <laughs> the yamcha yeah. i'm gonna block it oh lloyd yes Chi -Chi. so lloyd we did watch deadly class we didn't include in this because i, I was I being wanted to i was being technical and technically out me. in 2018 finished in 2019 so i didn't include it but I did love it. I thought it, it was a cancel. But it got canceled, Sucks. which is devastating because, yes, I enjoyed that film. But you know what? The actress. Um, okay, I can. Go ahead. Oh, shit. No. Okay. Oh, Go ahead, man. What's the um? What's her name? This the one who wields a sword. Colby Smulders. Nope. Oh my god, the the character in the character oh, in Deadly Class. I don't wields, even know what show we're talking. Oh, Deadly Class. Wills the uh I was gonna katana. Say. <laughs> no, that's a DC. Game. Well, she has PS to all the boys I love before. PS, I love you more, or whatever. She has you more stuff coming out. She's fine. Bring that up. Uh, so she's she'll be good. And the other guy who plays uh, the main character, his wife or girlfriend is pregnant, and she's on the magician, so she's fine too. 
So it's all good. But it is sad the Deadly Class is canceled. It was such a good because it, it was phenomenal. Book. Um, I thought they did a really good job of putting elements of the comic book into the show. I like the casting mm -hmm. and I even liked that. I gave, um, uh, Wong's character a little bit more backstory, Bendik Wong's character, more backstory. Oh, the principal. Yeah. The principal. I just loved it so much. I was very sad to see that they canceled it. I think that was a mistake on sci-fi's part because there's other shows and, they have that they keep on that I don't understand. And I remember reviewing the episode with you, the pilot episode, and yes, the jokes we were it. already coming out like this is gonna be canceled because it's sci-fi because everything gets canceled. Yeah, I don't understand, but like they still have Krypton, and I don't get I don't I haven't heard anybody talk about Krypton, but it could be a good show. Neither do I. With I tried watching it, and it's not as good as Deadly Class, so I don't understand why they canceled Deadly Class and they kept this so is the Amanda like I like, the mad Amanda. Like, you can't get a word in. Uh, I read every day, all the time. He does. And I'm not making videos, I am reading. Um, and then I watch shows. Like, movies. I'm going to go see Star Wars tomorrow. Me? Yes. We are. We're so excited. I cannot wait to see Omar's reaction to Star Wars. The Rise of the <laughs> uh, uh, We saw Jumanji Scarlet last weekend. If you guys wouldn't know that. <laughs> we did see Jumanji. Did you guys yeah. watch that? Happy was a crazy show. No, I haven't seen I Happy haven't seen yet. Happy that was a sci-fi. Was it? Sci-fi, right? Mm, FX. Oh, it's FX. I, I'm a big fan of that series because that is the most Grant or Garth Ennis Grant Morrison comic. Like it's a, I know it's Grant Morrison wrote it, but it feels like Garth Ennis from Preacher and uh, The Boys wrote it. Just the way that it's done, I love it. So I haven't seen it yet, and wondering how they made a whole season out of like I think the book is only like 64 yeah. pages or so. Um, Witcher is getting really good reviews. I heard that too. Yes. Like uh, it, I'm excited it dropped to see this it. morning. It did. So that's something that we'll both probably be watching here shortly. What I is... had to finish Marvel's Mrs. Maisel first. Oh, don't say anything, Hayden. Oh, yeah. Omar won't even let me show him reviews of it that are spoiler free. I'll make you a deal, Scoundrel. I will not spoil Jumanji for you if you don't spoil Star Wars. Oh, Scoundrel. <laughs> it's a good movie, though. You'll like it. It's fun. Yeah. It's just a fun movie. You know, it's good. S Watch Happy Guys. Two seasons. Okay, I'll okay, watch we'll it. we'll watch it. I love the comic. So Because there's nothing else. I mean, right now, I'm kind of in a limbo. That's what happens with binge watching, right? Yeah. Uh, Thanos snapping his finger and wiping out Happy <laughs> Galaxy was an interesting end to the Skywalker saga. I would agree. That's called Disney. <laughs> I don't know how I would feel about that. That would be so weird. Uh, I think, is the full season or is it being trickled? Do you know? It's on Netflix, isn't it? Yeah, so is I it all the whole, the whole season's season? out. All you know so then it dropped early this morning. I was gonna get my Netflix up at eight o'clock in the morning. Hold on. Amanda's pulling up her Netflix and share Netflix her app. password here in a second. How's everyone like in Mandalorian? Have you watched been watching right? that? Baby That's Yoda? Not comic book related, but man, what a good movie. Or anybody see the Irishman? Yeah, I heard on. eight if there's eight, there's eight episodes, episodes so I guess that's the whole season. That's a, yeah. They're there each, you go. They're each an hour long. Like about we need a good we need a good Game of Thrones type of series. Something that's but better Dark than Game Christmas of Thrones. Is phenomenal. Dark but Christmas. hey, did you all see that Game of Thrones got pretty much shut out minus um? You spill your beer. No, on I didn't spill it. Got shut out of the Golden Globes Thank minus you. uh Kit Harrington being nominated for Best Actor, which I was really surprised by. Of all the people to get nominated for Best Actor, that was not who I was gonna go with. Kit Harrington. Yeah, he got nominated for Best Actor for but. Game of Thrones isn't nominated for Best Drama, nominated for anything. Really? Not even Peter Dinklage got a nomination. He always gets nods. They just shut him out of Golden Globes completely. But they shut a lot of stuff out of Golden Globes I'm not happy with, so that's fine. Yes, so you can watch Amanda's take on the Golden Globes next year sometime when she comes back. <laughs> um, thoughts on the rumors Disney Plus shows for Mara, Jade, and Dr. April. Are they rumors? Because I would be all for that. That would be awesome. We need some Dr. Afra. We need some Dr. Afra. Omnibus, please. Um, it'd be a it'd be a few years till we probably saw something like that. <laughs> oh Ryan Johnson, this, this, and so is JJ Abrams the Tony Stark comment. of Star Wars, if going by the reviews I've seen. Don't no, say, anyone get don't it? Say anything. No, don't, don't say anything. Don't say anything. Did he wipe something away? Did he wipe something away? Like, what did you <laughs> Amanda? Amanda is to TV what Omar is to X-Men. I think that is why she first joined the cast, because that's or that's why we started doing reels talk. Yeah. I joined the cast because he wanted me to read comic books. You should read comic books. Everybody should read yeah, comic books. Yeah. So Amanda should host the Golden Oh, Globes. I would love to do that. She would pass out and pee her oh, pants. Be so excited. <laughs> oh, it'd be, be so this, great. It'd be this oh. shot of this lady just passed out <laughs> I would not pee my trickling pants. down. No, I know how to hold together. I met both Tom Holland and Chris Hemsworth, and I held my own. 
Chris Hemsworth is a literal god in person. God damn. Okay, I think Jesus has a talk with you. Uh, <laughs> yes, we do need some more OHCs. Yeah, that's what we were just talking about. Or she was talking about Hayden. No, uh, you're right. I mean, it didn't deserve a knob. So I was I was still surprised that Kit Harrington got a nomination. I don't know who his publicist is or what who his team is, but the fact that he even got a nomination was surprising. It's not like there's not a slew of amazing actors in dramas on TV. Regina King? Right. No, it's but they still base it off of gender. So I'm talking about men. And there's a slew of her last name is King. Okay. <laughs> this is why you can't have a Tom, Tom Holland's Holland. not 12. He's 23. <laughs> That's my joke. <laughs> He's That's 23 years old. He's an adult. He this just looks picture like of you it looks like his mom's taking her son to school for the no, first time. No, it does not. I even told Corey. I said, I look like I'm like an older woman. And it's so awful. <laughs> what graphic novels, comics do you think the service? We've, oh, wow. Have we had that? We had talk, we, we, we we talked that? about, well, we know we've been wanting a Red Sonja for a long time. But oh, it keeps talking TV about show. they're going to adapt it. But I've yet to see... Um, the rumors were there, but nothing has ever come of it. Um, I think they were, the rumors were never a, uh, a, a movie, movie, too. And Oh, man, there's so much good stuff. Lock and Key looks excellent. Oh, yeah, but they are adapting that. Mm -hmm. So I would like, I can't wait to see. I think, who are they casted in that? Because we talked about it on one of our shows, who they're casting in Lock and Key. Because there are cast, there are already people cast in Lock and Key as well. well wasn't the first teaser trailer out? Right? Hold on. Amazon's making Conan. I heard about that. I like to see the uncanny Omar or the astonishing Amanda adaptation. <laughs> that would be awesome. That would be awesome. Who's going to play me, though? No one I recognize in this. Billie Eilish. Billie He's going to play me. What? Uh, is there with Billie Stevie. Irish? Why am I hearing so much about this woman? You mean TV show? That would be awesome. That's a good answer. We should do an episode on that. Amanda Overlord. No, on uh, comic books that deserve... Okay, I'm adaptation. interested to see that, Sledge, because... Wait a minute. Is Over, that the movie? Yeah, he's talking about Overlord. The movie. The anime. Are you talking about the anime? The anime or the movie. The movie with Wyatt from... Uh, Hold on. I saw Overlord Jump Street. last year. You did. Did I? That was last year. Is that the movie? Yeah, it's scalped. Unfortunately, got canned. Oh, did it? Mm-hmm. That's Aaron, right? Paper Just Girls Aaron. would be awesome. Yes, that would that's be Aaron. Yeah, so we can do a whole episode. I mean, do another live episode. We should episode. do, yeah. On our favorite... What well, should be adapted. That'd be awesome. Right. So you know you're always welcome back. I know. Um, so we've been on for about an hour, and I think um, we've answered most of the questions. So, you know, you you got to leave the show, and you never got to say goodbye. That's true. And there were a lot, and there's a lot of things that I wanted to say to you um, that I've said to you on the Good air, or like I've said to you. <laughs> um off the air but i think you know you deserve it hey metal pig i think fables isn't that like one spot of time <laughs> don't do that, don't do that. Sorry, spot of time is garbage it to is fables. i'm sorry it is um to be fair i like the first few seasons then after that man uh you're always welcome back to take over the show anytime <laughs> you want she knows i do uh no i just uh i wanted to take this time to say thank you for being you and even though you were on the show for a short amount of time, or just a little bit over a year, a over a year. you were such a great addition, and it was so fun doing these things with you. And if it wasn't for you, I mean, you you took the helm of everything. You came up with, like, reviews in a flash was your idea. Like, Minties was your, like, you were like, you got to market this yourself. And I was like, oh, okay. You were just great at being yourself. And, uh, yeah, it it was such a great addition. Like if it wasn't for you, Marvel would not have reached out to us. If it wasn't for you taking over, you know, our Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook, then we wouldn't have like possibly DC reaching out to yeah. me now. Which so, awesome. you know, it, there's a lot of you in this still, like even I hate signing off with the, if it's classy and cool. <laughs> That thing. I came up with that because it was all you. That was all you. Because Jen Mink gave me a hard time. <laughs> so I had to come up with something else. So thank you. And I miss you. I miss, I miss you too. Miss you. So you know you're always welcome back. So. But uh, speaking of welcome back, we are going to do New Year's Eve episode. Right? Are we? 
Yeah, talk about, about our take okay. about what we want ex in 2020. Yeah, let's do that. Yeah, Sounds someone good. else had asked us, "What do you guys want in 2020?" I was like, "Ooh, I actually I was going to bring that up." Um, so we are going. <laughs> no, I don't say I was. I was not the mastermind. I mean, Omar came up with this channel. I just came in. She and, came in and really tweaked things up the way that I came in and just she. She was. Uh, he wanted no, some help, was, and I came and helped. Him. I'm gonna lie. I mean, she did an amazing job. Of, that's why she is the amazing. Oh, player. Michael. <laughs> <laughs> Wait a minute now. Hold on. Let's not get crazy. No, you you say that. That's true. Yes. If your whole life is alive. <laughs> you wouldn't like Omar if you didn't. Know <laughs> true. She wrote, she wrote my script. No, she put a lot of herself in here. And that's why she had to take a break because a I lot of this is because of her and the way, yeah. like even the, not just this particular segment, but you know, the reviews in a flash and then just a bunch of other things. Like you would give me ideas like, Hey, let's do this or let's talk about this. So it was really nice. You were Kevin Feige. That was you. Thank you. Or the that's guy, who's the guy that got fired? <laughs> the guy that walked away first. No, that <laughs> not that not that okay. <laughs> All right. So, um, yeah, I guess we'll, we'll do this again for new years. Yeah. Cause we, I want to talk about what I'm excited about for 2020. Cause same here. Same here. So, there's a lot, I mean, we'll do it. We'll not do it a lot during... of Marvel stuff, but there's a lot of good things coming out in 2020 that we should be all to be excited for. So, uh, that's still in the works. We'll see where this goes with the DC thing, but yeah, we've been talking a little bit. So thank was, you, Jordan. Was, thank I you. love you guys too. Uh, so we're going to sign off and you have to do it because I, I can't oh do it. Oh, God, you still do the same thing that you always do. I didn't make you. You made it a thing for years, so I had to do it. Okay. I will, Joe. I, I will still come back. Yes. I can't come on all the time. Uh, of um, course my, Even my comic book reading has taken a little step back because in addition to my life. Being a single mom. <laughs> <laughs> no, I mean, with my husband gone right now and, um, and then also I got – more responsibilities at work that require me to develop an entire program from scratch. Um, and when you are in a, at work for an association where there's only two people who work for it and yeah. you manage over 600 members, uh, it gets a little time consuming to say the least. Uh, so in addition to that, it's just been crazy. So let me go ahead and sign off before sure. I get emotional. Right. Um, so thank you everyone so much for watching. Don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button and remember to ring the bell for notification for more great near mint condition content. Uh, remember to check out our Patreon if we still have one. Still have one. <laughs> Red Bubble if you want to buy some merchandise. And check out- I'm making Amanda's shirt. Come back Amanda. <laughs> you can make one of those. He's a really good you know, artist, so he could do one for uh, a mock-up. Yep. Um, and just remember guys, if it's classy and cool, it, it must, must be near mint. Have a good night everyone and we'll see you all soon. Bye everybody.